Hi, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' It's D. About to react to this vid by Abba and Preach. This is she got caught with six fellow officers. Husband took her back. What? How she get caught with with six officers at the same time? I, I need to know what happened. Let's watch. We go to town. <laughs> A shocking 20-page report has been completed into sexual relationships at the Laverne Police Department. Some happening while officers were on duty and at work. Doing something while you're at work, I mean, for everybody else who goes to work, you know, we're held to that same standard. Jerry Howell says he was in disbelief when first reading the report and wants changes from city leaders. The investigation says Mayor Jason Cole got the first tip about the relationships. It's just bad. It's like a stain, I guess. We requested an interview with Mayor Cole, but was told he was not willing to talk on camera. Instead, he released a statement saying in part, we will be retraining all of our employees in the rules, regulations, and expectations set forth by city leadership. It be a wake-up call for Laverne, but also a wake-up call for our police department to uh, take care of themselves. You guys don't know this is hot. <laughs> Who apparently was running this hairline on her doing stuff on the job. Wait, what trains? Who apparently was running having trains rain on her doing stuff on the job at the workplace. She was servicing. They had to uh, <laughs> and not the people. She was servicing the servicers to protect and serve other cops. Good lord. <laughs> uh, I like the it was her. That picture didn't age well. <laughs> <laughs> So I hope it wasn't there. <laughs> a lot of people were talking, they're like, bro, and this is a lot of women. A lot of women be like, yo, man, like, I saw her pictures, and like, you know, the girl wouldn't, they didn't risk their jobs for, they didn't want to just come out and say, like, this girl's like a four, okay? And that's fine. You can just say, just come out and say, like, she's not the most attractive. It doesn't they matter. It doesn't matter. That's not even the point. You, you I have to put you on game about the male brain. Yeah, okay. If it's present, and it's down, we go to town. That's so sad. That part. Hey, listen. It's present and it's down, we're going to town, Brown. He said, if it's. So it could be anything. You have to understand one thing. Okay. Like, and that's her. Cha-ching! We are going for the jackpot. And let me say, there was a jackhammering that was happening. They <laughs> drilled the fuck out of her. And I ain't talking about no drill sergeants. Like, well, well technically, it was her sergeant. That's kind of wild. Left, right, left. <laughs> drill sergeant. And hey, yo. I've heard all kinds of crazy takes. <clears throat> like what? <clears throat> What'd you hear? What did they but here's, here's the, 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 the real simple take of the matter. People who are at work, male and women, traditionally fuck each other. She was married, didn't even matter. And I'm gonna tell you, a lot of office romance involve people who are in relationships and marry. The truth of the matter is, when men and women work together, there's gonna be some fucking shenanigans, shenanigans happening. Even if you have an anti-fraternization policy, let me tell you, they got the strictest one in the military, and they fucking in the barracks during basic training. They wasting no time. They'll fuck superiors, they'll fuck inferiors, they'll fuck the person laterally. They don't care. They see the hole, they going in. She sees a rod, she jumping on. I'm not saying it's always consensual, but in this case it was, so we're not even gonna talk about the more devious shit. And good on the police chief for firing them. Why, Abba? They were just sleeping. They were sleeping together on the job. Sorry, yeah, we ain't paying you so you can get some cheeks. Paying you to fight crime. I'm glad you're getting some cheeks. Yeah, but not. But well, we ain't paying you so you can get some not cheeks. On my, not on my dollars. If you can't pay to get some cheeks, nigga, I want to get paid to get some cheeks. Not, not on my dollars. Getting cheeks cost me money. So it better cost you too. Not, not on my dollars. Hey. It's, your, it's your dollars. It's my dollars. Yeah, the only people getting paid to get some cheeks are only fans, mom. <laughs> and they should. <laughs> no, they deserve to be fired. And the last thing, and I think the most important thing is. The husband stood by her. Everyone's going after him. He said, this is my wife. I will not leave her. Apparently, they were in some kind of weird that. relationship that was open, but he was upset when he also caught when he found out that his other patrolmen were patrolling her inside. I get it. I'm not mad at it. I understand why you'd be yeah. upset. You wanted the relationship to be open. You're just like, nigga, I didn't want it to be that open. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, listen, I let the door open. I didn't want you to open the windows too, bitch. Yeah, he's so stupid. <laughs> 
So yeah, even with open relationships, there still are rules involved. So you can't just be like, all right, then I get to fuck anybody I want. If I want to fuck your daddy, then that's cool too. Like, no, you you need to have some some standards, some rules set in place. So I'm sure he was upset because it's like, all right, bitch, you doing you doing a lot. But now it makes sense why he took her back. You can have a party. I didn't want you to let everybody in the neighborhood in our home. That's a lot. I understand. I understand why he's upset. Him staying? I don't understand. I'm not gonna lie. But hey, it's none of my business. Exactly. It's none of my business, but you know what the truth is? What's the truth? I'm making it my business. Yo, this dude is a cut, man. Let's keep it a step. No, let's talk that shit. He probably is. You know I mean? No, no. Last year was all empathy, empathy. This year, there's a, there's a, there's, there's something that happens when motherfuckers are wearing uniforms, all right? Uh, uniforms are not meant to uh, show anybody as uh, advantage or whatever or not. Cops, uh, the cop field, is uh, apparently man that that's in there. When you got like a subpar girl that goes in there in a uniform, if the, the guys, if they're surrounded by guys, when a three in a uniform gets in there and it's a bunch of it's a bunch of guys, she becomes like a seven to eight. And it don't matter. I'm going on the one when people saying that she didn't look good and everything and stuff. It didn't matter, even in the uniform and stuff like that. If you look at a, a place where it's predominantly men, if a girl comes in and she doesn't, she she a girl, girl. She a girl. And girl. these guys, day by day, they see just guys and guys and guys. They just see a normal girl. That's a three. She gonna become a seven. I'll just make it even more simple. You know what this is? What is it? Convenience store. I want filet mignon, but if the bodega open, I'm getting a chopped cheese. Yes, sir. I'm getting a chopped cheese. <laughs> hey, listen, some of you ladies out there, y'all are convenience stores. I'm just keeping it. Some of you do, Garchin. Why does he keep calling me? Convenience store. You have to be open at 2 a.m. when everything else is closed. And so I ain't talking about in terms of convenience what? stores, too. What? Steven. He doesn't want that. He keeps going. Convenience store. Mm-hmm. That's you. Yeah. And it's okay. It's not even something shameful. It's not. What, working? Are you saying come working in a convenience store is a bad job? It's a good job. Huh? It's a perfect job. It's okay. It's us. temporary. I don't manage your business. Unless you want to be a perpetual convenience store your whole life. They call you during off-peak hours. Convenience store. store. You see come in his fucking shorts? Convenience store. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. I need to is. know the details of That's why they were doing all this kinds of things to her. Turning into a spit roast, giving cops a whole new definition of pig. Let me tell you, they went in on my girl. What happened? They were cruel to her, but yeah, she likes it cruel. Man. She likes it nasty. She likes it disgusting. They they ask a knock knock. Hey, open up! Is the police? She opened up. Yeah, yeah. They arresting all kinds of filthy criminals. Turns out this cop's a nastiest one of them all. You know, to do like I'm in the your marriage, you do whatever you want to. Mm-hmm. But I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you set some boundaries and someone violates it that much with that many people and people that you know, and they just doing their shit brazenly. What are you working in the same place? Listen, listen, work- listen I'm not saying cheating has got to be the end all be all your relationship. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying there's there's certain forms of cheating that are just so egregious. If you take it back, I look at you a little bit sus. Like, we also don't know what he did. That, you know, We don't know the details of their relationship. What if he did some wild off the wall shit and he just like, all right, you, all right, you got it. All right. Can we chill out now? <laughs> I've seen that in other people's relationship many, many times. So we don't know the details. Leave these niggas alone. If that's what they want to do, all right. If she cheat on you, leave they bust their like relationship. Emotional on. connection with somebody. Like, okay, maybe you can work your way back. If she fuck your stepbrother and get pregnant by him, like, nigga. Yeah, there's levels. To she, you know what I mean? Like, there's levels to everything. This is a wild one. She fucking your coworkers, yeah, I agree. One, but multiple, and running trains and all that stuff after you told her absolutely not. But that to me speaks to like a whole level of disrespect and like you ain't shit. But I mean, I don't know what he did. What you mean? Thank like you. He might have done some nonsense. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't I know. I fuck with Prince. I don't know. That's not the story. Possible, but right now this year I'm in my man's spirit, uh, you know, shift. Men can do no wrong. I'm tired of these females. Let's hit going down. They need to be here. Shut the fuck up. Get the fuck out of here. Keep your shit back in your home, bro. You know, I like this. Get the fuck out of here. Yo, these three or fours and everything they call them. That's gonna be a police. That's gonna be a new police code. 
<laughs> Can we do a 10 4 and a 3 4? Yeah. That's just them going down to this girl. <laughs> Bam! Let's Shut go. Up. Let me open your back door. <laughs> what I wanna do, what I wanna do when they come for you. I need the details on girl. these, Shout out to these cops encounters. Too. I don't even know what this happened. Shout out to R. Kelly and uh, R. Kelly and yeah, shout out to R. Kelly and Husher. Same girl. Same uh, girl. We be the same I don't girl. Know where this is going. Four of them got fired, two of them got suspended. Three of them. Three of them got suspended. Was it three? I thought three. Okay, maybe two. Okay, what does matter? Whatever. Why do you think they got suspended versus fired? I have my theory. Let me hear yours. I don't. Why did they get suspended? Did you I, notice the niggas? Why, got, okay, all, okay, all the, the niggas one, got fired. Why? Mm. The, the black man got fired. I, I think I know why. Why? Why these other? The one that got suspended. I, I think. I think they were covering up. They knew they were covering up. They were actually. They were organizing the trains. They were the train conductors. You know what I mean? Shut Come up. On, I'm a train <laughs> and ride it. The train conductor. You know what it is? What is it? I think they clocked out before they clocked in. Mmm, they went on the job. You mean they did that outside of the? Yeah, they did, yeah. If they did that outside, you just get suspended. Cause the other motherfuckers, the other motherfuckers, they the their uniforms on. Yo, go to the interrogation room. I got some questions. <laughs> yeah, questions. <laughs> 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 facilities which make the whole thing agree. To yeah, the other ones fraternize off. I off. Yeah, I, I think I that watch. was the big yeah, difference. My I, suspicion. Yeah, my suspicion. Yeah, 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 cause yeah, cause the fact we're not on the force, we're not wearing the yeah, uniform. Yeah. But some of these motherfuckers were wild, wild. And I also say this. Hey, I heard you were a wild one. And I was also this. Oh, this girl. She said, Dude, like, let me say this, okay? I don't even assign more blame to her than anybody else. You want to know why? Because one of the, off the top, they're her superiors. You're in a leadership position. You should know better. And if you're going to engage in this kind of behavior, there's more burden on you. Why? Because you have more power mm -hmm. and you have more responsibility. Oh, yeah. Off the top, I would never assign the same amount of blame to a fucking private as I would a sergeant or whatever rank you want to tell me above That's that captain. Fact. doesn't matter, right? If you're in a leadership position and you fucking your subordinates, you the hammer should time. come on you even heavier. I'm not saying you don't make her pay as well, because she was definitely clearly wanting this and engaging in it and initiating a lot of mm -hmm. it. But... They gotta hold the biggest L. That's what it means to be in those kind of leadership positions. So knowing that a bunch of these guys and her superiors all got fired, good, good. You can't have these kinds of people in this workplace. No, 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 sir. And uh, yeah, I think that pretty much covers most of my ideas when it came to that. So anything else? No. All right, well let's know what you guys think in the comments. I wanna know the details. I need the tea. Like, did they catch her in you know a certain position when they walked in the room? Was she in the break room? bent over like i want the the details like do anybody have those can you tell me because <laughs> i'm nosy and i want to know exactly what occurred and this is with six officers like i'm saying it was it at the same time i don't know i'll look this up y'all let me know what y'all thought though let me know what other videos you can watch and i'll see y'all the next time Bye.